So, uh, Bandersnatch, it's fair to say, it's, uh, everyone is talking about it at the moment. Um, did you expect that it would have, would have such a big reaction when you were filming this? I think I thought it was going to have a big reaction because of the format, because of the interactive format. Mm. Whether it was going to be positive or negative, I could not have known. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you, have you, you know, I, I guess, you know, some actors say they don't watch their work right after it. Have you tried to play so you get all the different versions of this story? Is it even possible to do that? Well, I'm not even sure if it is entirely possible to, to uncover everything uh, quickly. I think it takes multiple views and, 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 and a lot of time and potentially some patience. But I think that's the really cool thing about it. No one experiences the same. It's very unlikely that you're going to have the exact viewing experience. You've do you dodged else. my question there in, the, in an effort to not seem vain. Have you done it yourself? I'm asking <laughs> how many hours did you spend watching this Come thing? on, just say <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> say exactly what I mean. Are you vain? <laughs> <laughs> say that. I've watched about three quarters of it, but I don't particularly enjoy watching myself. It's nice that, I mean, I'm fortunate in the sense that I'm not in so much of it, so I'm able to yeah. enjoy other people's performances a bit more. Yeah. I yeah. guess the answer to that question, for me, would be that it is, it is, it is kind of difficult to watch yourself because yeah. you're constantly passing judgment. Think about any time you see a photo of yourself, you were saying just before yeah, we started yeah. that you were vain and wear contact lenses sometimes. <laughs> so uh, think about when you see a photo of yourself, when you're watching a video of yourself, it is and can be quite a cringy thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But there, there's the, the, because it, it's kind of gamified to me, there's a temptation to try and complete it. Obviously. Oh, yeah, I've had a go, yeah. yeah. Mm. For sure. um, it's set in a time before either of you were born, um, and it kind of references a, a, a kind of a cultural thing, those Choose Your Own Adventure books that, um, that you maybe weren't aware of. Have you picked any of those up, and did you manage to get through one without I dying? experienced them, yeah, right. when I was uh, a kid. I think, like, I definitely remember them. There was a Goosebumps one of a clear memory of, right, mm. uh, where you could sort of, you know, do the choose your own adventure thing, mm. and I knew someone that used to skip to the end. And <laughs> it used to upset me every Just time. Ruin it for you. Yeah. I had a flick through Bandersnatch. We had a copy on set, and it's very very thick. But I had a little bit of a, a, a flick through that. Oh, you mean you Davies. mean the, the prop one? Yeah, the prop one. Yeah. It's not real. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> no. I clocked that because yeah, it suddenly. Didn't I know what add you mean though. I, I know it, what you mean was, though. Yeah. But it was incredible. Like the, yeah. at least the first like few pages, they. The prop team did such an amazing I job. I started to get excited then that it was a real Bandersnatch book. Mm, yeah. Sadly, sadly that, that won't be in W.H. Smith anytime soon. I don't but, but maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe actually. But Bandersnatch was a game in development. I in believe this, yeah. So do you know the story of this then? Is it? Vaguely. Uh, it was a game that was in development and I think the company went bust and it was never properly made. Right. Hmm. Um, did you? Well, I imagine filming this was quite difficult um, and uh, quite difficult to keep up with what was happening. Did mm. you kind of fall into a sort of Bandersnatch wormhole yourself during the process of making this? Yeah. I did. I got to say, I, I yeah. found it very, very tough, and uh, I don't know how you did it because I'm in a significantly less amount of the project than you are, and I, I found that every day I was sort of heading home with my my brain completely scrambled, yeah. unsure of whether I'd actually mm. been able to manage my character arc, whether I'd been able to mm, mm, communicate mm. what I wanted to communicate. And I think more so than ever before, I never felt so much anxiety about catering to the audience's needs, I think. On, on that note, I just did I'll just quickly ask, you did withdraw from social media after this. Was that in relation to a, a backlash about Bandersnatch or? or? No, and I, 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 you know, as I, as I kind of said in the, in the statement um, that I, I made on Twitter, when I did, when I did decide to just take a, a, a step away, at least temporarily, um, it was totally unrelated to what was right. uh, an overwhelmingly positive reaction to Bandersnatch. Um, it was in relation, as I mentioned in the statement, to some negative aspects of social media that you know um, sometimes people engage in. It wasn't particularly healthy for me to be on the other end of it, so I just decided to take a step back. Social media is in itself quite black mirror. And, uh, Can be. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it, and congratulations on Bandersnatch. It's, Thanks. It's fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Thanks, you. Man.